Marvel is seriously cooking right now. Of course, not in the movie industry, obviously, but in the gaming industry because we have so many Marvel games. I, I, I'm literally forgetting some. Like, I'm not saying that they're going to be bad, but it's just there's so many. You know, it's, you know, like, like, and that's good. Like, they're having like very like less, um, you know news about those games it's just i'm still excited but it's just like there's so many games i lose track of which one is which and today um i'm going to be talking about one of the marvel games which i am m- most hyped for it is motive Studi- studios iron man game and today i'm going to be talking about the things which are confirmed things which are rumored and what do i think of all these and what would i like to see but anyways, today is what to expect. Now to start off with the key points which are confirmed, we have, of course, as we all know it's obvious, the Iron Man game is being developed by Motive Studios. Or E, or you can e- even call it EA Motive, it's the same thing. Um, but if but some people don't know that Motive Studios has actually worked on Dead Space Remake and Star Wars Battlefront 2 and well, etc. Now that is amazing news because um, the Dead Space Remake was amazing. It has really good like uh, abilities, not abilities, like you know, it has really good gameplay. It, it had good gameplay. Um, I myself, I, I like I haven't played it, but I've seen some of the gameplay and it's amazing. And same goes to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And yeah, I I have um hope for uh, for this game. But th- what I'm about to say next will give you guys more hope, including me on the game. And one of w- the other key point is that Motor Studios hires is hiring actual marvel slash iron man fans who know how to work on a game to work on the game that is amazing because actual fans like that's amazing choice and this makes me more hype for the game and the next point here is stating that the game is being developed using unreal engine 5 which is used in games such as um fortnite i mean the main uh, main example is fortnite that's all i know and Unre- unreal engine 5 is good because it brings like better crafting geometry uh better lighting and stellar animations to the characters and very smooth animation too now after hearing all this even though we have like very little uh, news to cover um like this gives me so much hope i just hope ea does not let us down because i this game has so much potential i i i want to play this uh iron man game i i believe like it's going to be amazing like just playing as the character tony stark and then flying around in suit of armor that's amazing now we're moving on to the key points which are rumored and the first of first one states the game is rumored to be open world and i i'm i can see how this can happen because of course they're using unreal engine 5 which gives better tools so i really hope they do this because we can explore to Stark city or like let's say um we had some meetings to go as Tony Stark, so when we go to that specific building, we can just change into Tony Stark. Similar how um, Insomniac does the uh, mis- some missions where you have to either be Peter or Miles, not the Spider-Man. So I feel like that could work, and it, sh- it could add such a ho- uh, fun experience, and it could take the game to the next level because just flying around the city as Iron Man, who won't love that? Now the next point 
if the game might release in 2025. Now, I do not think that's true because the game got announced this year in September. And, well, it depends like if the team is ready with the game. But they did say when they announced it, they're in very early uh, development of like then the early stage of development so i do not think it'll come in 2025 it might and if it does i mean that year's only a great gaming year we have so many good games gta 6 um uh, so yeah like i could see either a late 2025 like december christmas release or something or even 2026 now what i would like to see in the game is well what marvel avengers didn't do is adding more abilities to iron man because you know don't start right let's say in one mission we have like very few like i think one or two weapons but then you know tony gets defeated but then he's like he's barely he barely just won all right the villain got away but then tony stark after that would learn from his mistakes and create better weapons and then as the missions go more weapons can be added to our inventory which i think could uh, symbolize a great um uh feature in the game or we can just have a skill tree and unlock it like let's say some points some skills should be unlockable uh throughout different points in the story right so it makes much more sense and let's say and of course we know e- uh, this game is gonna have multiple iron man costumes both from comics movies and original designs so i was thinking why not add abilities to them like i'm not uh, like um keep the base suits like the most classic um like only like base iron man suits same abilities but like let's say their suits which are nanotechnology or the superior uh, iron man suit right so they can have their own abilities to them which i think would make uh, of a fun uh, feature for the game because it would make these uh, suits stand out and also is also i think customizing your iron man suit i think that would be a really uh, neat feature because who won't love to make their own iron man suit me personally i would um so yeah that is what i think of the game i I, i'm really excited for it hopefully it drops soon and i just want to get my hands on like it is the game is amazing like just when i heard it was an iron man game i immediately got excited because i love iron man as a character so it's great and to see people who actually love the character and the marvel brand in a whole working on the game that is that's amazing for me and what do you guys think of this um do you like these um confirmed or and rumored things or do you not like them what would they what would you like to change or what are your thoughts and what would you like to see but anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next one